Hey what is up guys, Jake here and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'll show you how we can transform any image into a tileable texture. So I'll be using this brick texture because in the background that I'm working on for a commission, the walls do have a brick texture. And obviously I don't want to spend my time painting each and every individual brick. So I'll show you what I did in order to achieve this in a matter of minutes. So this is the final texture that I ended up with. But let's just go back to the beginning. So this isn't really a tutorial on how to paint the brick, but I'll just show you what I did anyway. So I started off with a very messy textured uh, color base like this. Then I just added the separation, some shadows, highlights on the side, and then highlight on the top, just to give it a, tr a three dimensional feel. So this is my base texture. The only problem with it right now is that it is not tileable. Now after I got my base texture done, I'll just duplicate the group and I'll just merge everything. Now to check if the texture is tileable or not, you just want to go on top over here in Photoshop, in Filter, Other, Offset. I'll just set the values back to zero. So now if you just offset the image a bit, you can see where there is a very visible seam. Now that is very easy to fix at least in my case, because I just need to paint over the seam. But if this was an actual image texture, then you'd have to use, you just have to use tools like the content to wear move tool or spot healing, healing patch, all these like photo, uh, like these image fixing tools. So in some cases you might end up with a horizontal seam, but in my case, it's not very apparent. So I just need to fix the vertical seam. So now if we go back to offset and we move it around, there is one little mistake over here. So we're just gonna go back and fix this. So you always want to make sure that you get a few passes with offset to make sure that you didn't miss any seams. Now if we move it around, everything seems okay. So now we can just press okay. And right now I'm just working in an incorrect <laughs> canvas size apparently. So now I just want to make it four times as big, so 8192 by 192. You always want to work with square ratios when you're making tileable textures. So hopefully this works now. I'll just hide the layer underneath. So now if you grab your texture and you copy paste it, make sure that they're actually aligned. So yeah, I'm missing a bit on the bottom because I didn't notice that I had the wrong aspect ratio, but as you can see, the tile uh, the texture is completely tileable. And in the case of my painting, I just put a bunch of that square together to make uh, smaller looking bricks. And that's how I achieved my brick wall in my background over here. Now obviously it's not believable, I'm still gonna have to go over it to make it look more three-dimensional, but it just saves me that much time that I would have been spending painting each and every each and every individual bricks on this wall. Now I only need to worry about making them three-dimensional. So yeah, I hope this tutorial was useful for you guys. I know it was a bit short. I just don't have much time recently to be posting longer videos. So I hope instead that I can just give you guys these short one-off tutorials that can help you save time in your paintings. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.